Hey, how's it going, boys? This is kind of a weird video. Uh, basically, I kind of got into a fight with one of the biggest streamers on all the platform, Aiden Ross. And it's all smoothed over now, so if you're watching this video and at any point thinking to yourself, man, this is so stupid, I want to be mad at someone, I want to go into someone's DMs talk shit, just don't. And I'm not saying that, like, you know, how normal creators do it, to be like, hey, don't do this so I can cover my own ass. I'm saying this genuinely. And just to prove it, I got this tweet pulled up here. Now, this is a real interaction that happened. Basically, one Aiden Ross viewer DM me, told me to kill myself, told me he was going to straight up harm my girlfriend, Cutie. And I was looking at this DM, and I noticed, man, that is a high school jersey. <laughs> So I did a little bit of sleuthing, and I literally found the guy's high school, and I DM'd him. And I wanted to just set an example on why you shouldn't invest so much of your life, even if you think it's just a message, even if you think it's not a big deal, into some online creator. What would happen if you DM someone in your real world, right? Someone in your class, a teacher, or whatever, and talk shit. You would pay the repercussions from it. It's how it works. And I don't want you guys to think it's any different just because me, maybe a guy you like watching on YouTube, is beefing with some other dude that you don't know. So, really, just enjoy the video. Think of it as pure drama popcorn. We don't do a lot of drama around here, but I thought it was funny and worth the video. So, uh, anyway, check it out and appreciate you guys watching. And I'm back home from break, so normal uploads and me making the thumbnails from here on out. By the way, if you aren't sub, make sure to subscribe. 30% of the people who watch aren't even sub, so I'd really appreciate it. Hopefully you guys have a good rest of your day. Drama Mondays! Woo! We're back with Drama Mondays! So, here's how this stream's gonna go. It's gonna go in two phases. Phase one, the what. What is the drama? What happened? What was said? He said, she said. They said, we said. Talk about it all. That's phase one. Phase two, my take on the drama. What do I think about it? How do I feel about this? That's not cool, that's really poggers. No, that's an L. Phase three, join phase, hang out with phase banks. Those are the three phases of this drama stream. We're gonna see how it goes today. It should be really hype. Here's the background. If you guys don't know, me and Aiden have beefed before, which is weird that I've beefed with someone. Cause maybe I'm crazy, but I feel like I'm not much of a beef guy. I'm not really much of a beef guy. I feel like I kind of keep to myself. I do my own thing. If I hang out with people, it's offline TV where I, the only beef I start is going, Me Young, you're such an idiot. <laughs> and then everyone goes, Ludwig, you shouldn't have said that. And it's really funny. That's pretty much the extent of my beef. But all of a sudden I've got wrapped into beef with, you know, someone who I think is actually upset. And this isn't the first time. The first time it happened is when we did the stream looking at the uh, Atlas of Twitch. The Atlas of Twitch was this thing uh, that basically tracks every single streamer and puts them into a circle and shows which viewers watch who and puts them into groups, things like that. It was really, really, really minor. I had basically said during the stream that Aiden Ross was the king of normies. I know. And that one of the things that he blew up from was kissing Corinna Kopf. Honestly, I wasn't giving him enough credit. I was talking mad shit that he was blowing up from Corinna Kopf. When that wasn't even that big of a thing, it was only his most viewed YouTube video. And that's it. And that was rude when I called out his most viewed YouTube video being Corinna Kopf flirts with Aiden and makes him nervous, in parentheses cute, which had 1.1 million views in February, which is his first video to ever hit a mill. That was rude of me. Perhaps I should have after that said, and he also is funny, and then it would have been fine. Either way though, he didn't take it very well. And so then beef started. And it was beef in the sense that everyone who would look at it and react to it would go, huh, I'm fighting about that. And that was it. Outside of like the 50 death threats I got from SSB. SSB rives up, we devious. Which, by, by the way, stop calling your viewers devious. It just feels like you're literally trying to say that although we might not be as large of a number, we do things in a much more toxic and concerning manner. And so if you start beef with us, it won't be an ordinary beef with some banter back and forth, it's gonna be a much more scary beef and much more devious because I will activate my viewer base in a parasocial way because even though I can't really communicate with the millions of people who watch me, I will make them come after you in a way like they're my best friends, which is kind of weird to do. It's kind of weird to do that, I would think. Deviating from the subject, I am, let's move on. That was the original beef. 
And at first I was like, oh, I think he might just be like hyping this up for drama. You know what I mean? Like rice gum style. I feel like how rice gum, if someone beefs with him, he would be like, nah, bro, these fuckers are relevant, dude. These fuck, they jealous, man. They never hit 10 mil two days. And he's like kind of high, like, but I think when rice gum clicks end stream, he then goes to his bed looks at his million dollars, looks at his girlfriend who's contractually signed to hang out there and give him half of his in, uh, her income, and then has a great night. And he doesn't think about any of it. I think that's probably how Rice operates. Which is fair. I mean, that's a fair, that's a fair grind. It's a fair hustle to have. He's just a guy who just goes on and kind of farms it all. He's, again, kind of like Mizkiff. But I think Aiden was actually upset at the time. Aiden's a new streamer, and I don't want a new streamer to come on the platform and then think all the other creators are being like, fuck you, pussy, way to get big, idiot, you suck. And then feel discouraged from the other creators on the platform. I didn't want that. So what I did is I sent a, a DM. I either called or I texted FaZe Banks, who, if you don't know, is roommates with Aiden Ross. Banks has this superpower where he is able to um, find people who are kind of new creators and spot whether they're going to blow up or not. Like him or hate him, he's really good at that. He was like, Aiden Ross, you can live with me. I think you're gonna do really well. So he, he kind of has that that vision, that creator vision. And I talked to Banks and Banks was like, yeah, I kind of try to smooth it over with Aiden. Which to me was like, oh fuck, wait, this is not, this is not fake drama. This is like real Aiden Ross is actually upset and really taking this seriously drama and I was like, oh, that's not good. That's bad. You know, I don't want, I don't want him to actually be mad. So I reached out because I'm a huge fan. And I said, yo, thought I'd reach out personally. I talked to Banks a bit, but I don't want any bad blood between us. Not going to defend what I said. If it made you feel disrespected, that's on me. That's about it. I don't really care. I don't think what I said was that big of a deal, but I'm not going to defend it because you got disrespected and that's all that matters. Your feelings are valid. All love and support over here. Seriously. To which he responded, nothing. He actually unfollowed me. He used to follow me literally uh, the day before, and then he unfollowed me that day. I tried to reach out, didn't work, whatever. I was like, okay, I tried. It was a small thing. He moved on. I thought he didn't care anymore. I was like, I moved on. We're in our own separate worlds. We'll just live in our own separate worlds. And then this is what kicked off the drama. And I'm not taking anything out of context. I'm not trying to cut anything out. This is the entire two minute clip that started the drama between myself and Aiden Ross. And I want you to keep in mind, this drama is mainly between me and Aiden. So if you see anyone else in this clip saying something, understand that they are not the brunt of this. It, it's mostly me. So, well, let's just see here how this goes. Also, Aiden Ross is known for kissing Corinna. Ask blood. <laughs> I did say that. Well, he was known from that. It was his most viewed YouTube video. Okay. But he got really mad about that. I don't know. I, I know who Aiden Old is. beef. Yeah. Where the fuck did he come from? He kissed Corinna. <laughs> That is, is that like his thing? No, so like he just, he had like a bunch is of connections in the LA scene and like he hits a viewer base that you, like me and you will never hit. Like our viewer bases are very different, but yeah. they're still closer together than like Aiden Ross's viewers and our viewers. I do all I know, they literally only know two letters. Mm -hmm. Okay, his, his, viewers, his viewers are like the kids in high school who want to be cool. You know, like, oh, like I like rap. I like, you know, like this sort of stuff. Like kind of like hype beast-ish. Okay. Yeah, they're all like, very you know, hype beastish. Like, like they think like if Supreme was cool, they think it would be cool, sort of okay. thing. I, dude, I go in there and I, I, yeah. I, I, I literally have fun in Aiden Ross's stream because I don't watch it. <laughs> I think but I'm literally just spamming letters. You're like, yeah, I'm included. <laughs> w, 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 w. I just spam W in her. He said spam W. <laughs> but now nah, I think he does a Sorry. good job of bringing in like successful rappers. I think, and I think he's, people. I honestly, I, I like the way like, like his facial expressions are pretty good. He, he's a good looking guy. <laughs> so like he, he has everything going. He has like, great reacts. Yeah. The only thing I don't get is he'll do these streams that are like really big. He'll bring in a rapper. I'll bring in like a girl to E-Day. But then he'll do a stream where he plays Roblox horror games. Yeah. And I'm like, this seems weird. And yeah. his viewers will drop and they'll be like Resident Sleeper. I'm like, why are you playing Roblox horror games? That's probably what, like, deep down inside, he really likes that stuff. <laughs> yeah. Even though his viewers don't. He's, he's bringing in rappers and, uh, and like, famous women, but all to play Roblox on stream. And now I am beefing. Maybe I'm out of touch. And maybe I'm jaded. And maybe I'm a little vain. These are all fair things. W what did I say? I'm confused. I could get getting a little mad at what Nick said. You know, attacking a, a viewer base generally I think is like a silly thing to do. People do this, it's like the easiest way to attack someone. People will always be like, oh, your viewers are, are children. And like, oh, okay, oh, fuck me. People will be like, oh, you know, your viewers are, 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 are hypey stuff. That's fine. 
you know, honestly, Rice might have had the most five head take about this. He watched this clip and he goes, yeah, that's just their interests. There's nothing wrong with that. True. It's also just the different group of people that, you know, Nick probably doesn't want to hang out with. The same way that, I guess, Aiden really doesn't like people who play instruments uh, in band. I don't know why he doesn't like people who play instruments in band, in violins. Violinists are honestly really impressive. I wish I had the skill of them, but he really hates them. He thinks they're cringe. He thinks people who play the violin are cringy and weird. Fair enough. That's understandable. Honestly, I'm more of a sax guy and a brass man myself. So anyway, that was it. That was it. And as you guys know, I almost view watching Twitch as a part of my job. Is that weird? But every time I watch Twitch, I'm like, yeah, this is kind of a part of my job to like know everything that's happening. I'll wake up, I'll see what Lyric's doing in the morning, Charlie, Rice Scum, all right? And I'll look at Aiden and I'll just kind of see like, where are the trends of Twitch? Because if you think about it, everything I've done up till now-ish has kind of been like a trend. The idea is that I always know what the trends are so that if it's something I think I'd be good at and interested in, I'll follow. So you can ask me about almost any streamer and I feel like I'd, I'd know a bit about them. You know, I, I try to watch everyone. Not to say that I'm only watching for that reason. I also, you know, think that that <laughs> that Aiden Ross stream where he had a um, blue face, it was like um, like a very successful LA rapper was like almost bullying Aiden. Hopefully they were in on it because it seemed not fake for a bit, but either way. I would say that's one of the can't miss streams of 2021 is Blueface on uh, Aiden's stream, basically bullying him on his own channel. <laughs> and so in this video, Let's talk about me, because this drama kind of started with me. What did I say? He's good at getting people on his show. He's really good. He has great outreach and ability to convince people to come on his channel, which isn't an easy thing to do. Even if you have a big following, it's still hard, and this is literally true, just to schedule people to show up and get them to show up on time and convert. You have to be like a chameleon, your schedule to their schedule, because usually they don't take the time out of their day to block it out because nobody's really a professional in this space. Nobody's like, oh, seven to 9 p.m.? Okay, perfect, I'll put it in my Google Calendar. We can have a Google invite at 6 p.m. to confirm the time. No one does that. Everyone's just like, hey, pull up. Okay, I'm gonna pull up. And then you sit there twiddling your thumbs waiting for somebody to pull up at some point. I imagine that's how it usually goes. And then after that, Nick said he also reacts really well. And then I just said, I don't understand why he plays Roblox, which is, I think that. Now, I don't know if I'm being soft here or uh, or too hard, but I feel like it wasn't a big fucking deal. It almost feels like um, like rappers or something, you know, like like rappers and they're like, keep my name out of your mouth. But like the shit rappers say is it's fucking hard. I'm, I'm not that up to date in, 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 in the rap industry and all that good stuff. But I mean, they're, they're literally like standing on people's graves of people they've murdered in gang violence in rap songs. And me, I'm saying, hey man, you can do really well at bringing creators on. And one of the first videos that blew you up was Corinna Koff. And it's like, oh shit, oh shit. This fucker, dude, this guy right here. No, -uh. no, he did it. No, he did not What is this? What are we doing here? This is my only problem. I wish it was fake. I wish it was like, he's actually just five head farming views but when I talk to Banks, it doesn't seem like that's the case. <laughs> when I talk to Banks, Banks isn't like, oh yeah, man, he's just fucking around, like just trying to farm views, like just farming drama. No, so I don't know. I don't know. I don't really get it. Nick insulted his viewers? Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely Nick did. Was I supposed to do this? Hey Nick, leave her alone. What do you want from me? So anyway, that's the original video. And then I think, I think Rice Scum reacted to it and he said he had to react to it to get Aiden's back because Aiden's had Rice's back. And then I guess it, it inspired Keen to make this video. And then you're going after his fans saying, oh, his, his fans, they think that they're the cool kids because they listen to rap. <laughs> what? <laughs> May I remind you, buddy, you blew up for streaming nonstop for like- So quick pause, Nick said that. I don't think Nick blew up for streaming nonstop, unless I'm forgetting the NMP subathon, but I could be wrong. Oh! Yo! Jet! <laughs> I told you, he has the best reacts in the business. Nobody reacts better than him. <laughs> yes, sir, Keem! Yes, sir! Imagine being home alone watching Keemstar on your TV going, Oh! 
Keem! Fuck Keem, you going off again, brother! 39 and you still shit like that? Woo! My god, this guy's the Tom Brady of talking shit. May I remind you, buddy, you blew up for streaming non-stop for- Okay, real quick, real quick, chat. And I know a lot of people like to say this fact, but I wish it was true. This is my viewership in f January and February. 25K, 20K. The subathon ended in April. Let's look at the past 30 days. Boys, I'm doing worse. <laughs> I'm doing worse since the subathon happened. The subathon, everyone got Ludwig out of their minds. They're like, um, this is too much fucking Ludwig, bro. I need like six months. And let's be honest, the real winner of this entire situation is not me. It's not Aiden, it's Keemstar. Keemstar's gonna win big on this shit. Keemstar's next drama alert, he just manufactured one. He just made his own YouTube video for once. It's insane. That was it. That was, so Keemstar posted that video last night and we were all at a party together. All of us meaning like, uh, like a bunch of streamers. I think I posted a picture on Twitter of but we were all at a party and then everyone was like, did you see what uh, Keemstar posted? And so I watched the video and it was basically Keemstar getting upset at me for what Nick said, which fair enough. I guess I was in the room and I, and I was, I wasn't even the largest streamer there, Soda Poppin was there, but I was in the room and that, and that, and that's what matters, I think. And so I just replied with a picture of all of us. So I just, I, I replied poggers and it was a picture of, S fan, Miz, Soda, X, uh, Connor, Will, myself, and Nick. And then I thought, I thought that was that. I thought like, you know, that, that, that would be all. That's all for now, folks. And then, and this is like, I don't want to say a universal thing, but usually you don't want to leak DMs. Aiden tweeted, a fan, you know everything about me, shit sad, how you hate me for no reason when I've never said ever shit about you, but given props for your subathon and grind. Thank you, appreciate that. Sorry I missed that, do appreciate it. You really are sad coming at me in my community. L nerd, go play violin, band geek. What is up with the band nerd stuff? What is wrong? Can we stop attacking the poor violinists at home? I guess they could play themselves a sad tune right now. Band players are cool. They make a lot of really good music, but I don't know. I guess he thought that was like a really powerful reply. That, that was that was about that and then he and then what what I revealed to you guys earlier he, he showed the DMS between us I don't know man from my perspective This was like me when I had originally said something that made him feel disrespected and, and, and hurt his feelings and me I was like, oh no those feelings are valid I even if what I think I said was right or maybe not mean he still got offended and he's new to this platform Hey, I don't want to be a part of someone who's like hating or being a bully I'm just gonna send a DM and try to smooth this over and he don't walled it and unfollowed me on Twitter. So he apparently saw it. So that's the good news. I guess, hey. <laughs> Aiden Ross reads our DMs. That's a pretty cool thing, huh? I didn't want to like high road and apologize on stream. I thought I would deal with it off stream to like, you know, I guess be an adult, be a 25 year old man. And then he tweeted this out. Then it blew up. And so then I tweeted this out. Cause I thought it was funny to tweet L nerds with all of us watching Amaranth. It was just kind of a funny tweet. To be honest, I stole this tweet from Aiden, my roommate. He made the same one two weeks ago. And then he tweeted this image, which he I just actually took from a different viewer who made the tweet and then tweeted, everyone go ratio this pussy and bleeped out pussy, which was actually very respectful. Claps for Aiden Ross for being really respectful. Not trying to use sexist language, that's big. And then deleted it. Which is like, what What do you get there, bro? Oh, a failed ratio. This is huge. He not only quote retweeted his tweet, he then retweeted his tweet to try to ratio me. Let's just imagine for a moment we live in a universe where he did ratio me. Th does that make him right? Is that how it works? I have been ratioed. It is over for me. My ability to speak on the internet is now done. And uh, then after that is when all of the death threats came in. Then every other human on this small ecosphere of Twitch decided to give their own two cents on it. And then Aiden Ross and Ludwig started trending on Twitter. Anyway, that's that's about it. And so because of that, uh, everyone on Twitter is making memes. I think Aiden Ross is actually a little bit upset. Uh, everyone's excited about a war between, I guess, old school Twitch and uh, um, like the new, more, what word can I use that won't offend Aiden? Anyway, that's um, about the full crux of the drama, but it was a big enough deal that it trended yesterday until that is Dream tweeted out, and I hope I'm not misquoting here, I just want to make sure I get the right tweet. He tweeted out the word bark, 
and then uh, Dream Dog was trending. So look, at the end of the day, even my beef with Aiden Ross is not more powerful than Dream was taken tweeting out Bark. Cutie tweeted some funny shit. Cutie, you guys should be able to tell from the roast, but she goes hard. First, she tweeted, if you want to keep gay baiting, come over and put your money where your mouth is and suck this dick, baby boy. Holy shit, bro. <laughs> she goes so hard. And then she also tweeted, will you kiss my boyfriend too so he can be get big on Twitch to Karina? Which, Jesus Christ. The only reason why I think Aiden's actually upset and not just fucking around is because look at Greek. He's just absolutely trolling everyone, right? Tweeted, yo, at Ludwig, leave Aiden Ross alone, go play GeoGuessr, you're boring. It's so hard for streamers to take the L and admit Aiden Ross is a better streamer than them. And then Aiden followed Greek. <laughs> Which is like, all these guys are just getting trolled. Because nobody on Twitch gives a fuck about any of this because everything is just content and memes to them. So anytime you actually get invested to any sort of drama or beef, you just are so susceptible to getting trolled on. Soda Poppin tweeted out, listen here, I've been in this business before you were born, motherfucker, LMAO. You ain't even gay, bitch. I'm the bitch. You ain't gay. I'm the gayest ever at Aiden Ross. <laughs> what was the uh, genius Nick Pollum take? We should probably apologize. I don't want to be upset. He's young. He's 20. You know, I don't want him to be upset. Mm -hmm. You know, he's, he's a big boy on campus. He's probably, oh my God, I'm Mr. Big Shot now. What am I going to do? You know, I don't want him to be like super mad. You know, he's 20. Yeah. He's 20 years old and he's been thrown into this whirlwind successful scenario. And I don't want there to be a war because at the end of the day, you have to understand Twitch is a lot of our homes every day. Millions of people go live to watch their favorite streamer on Twitch. The only place on the internet where you can find a category for women in hot tubs and scandalous clothing. A British 17 year old with more viewers than any hockey game in the past 100 years. You can find a 17,000 viewer Andy playing any video game you want, whether you love it or you hate it. And so even if Aiden Ross is a normie, I'm a normie, XQC's a degen, so does Poggers, it doesn't matter. Because it's not us against us, it's us against the world! This is the corner of the internet where we've decided to spend our time to foster connections, watch things live, and escape the world outside. So let's just be friends. The one thing I want is, um, well, mostly just for it to stop. Honestly, I don't have to go live and talk about Aiden Ross more. Maybe he does. Maybe he's down to farm it. Maybe he's trying to posture this into a boxing match, but I couldn't give less of a shit. I really don't like that. I really like doing my own thing, hanging out with my community, doing what I like best, which is going live, talking to my whatever, 15, 20,000 people, playing video games I like to play, farming YouTube videos that I upload daily. And I don't want a bunch of devious viewers being activated from someone to send death threats to me and all of my friends, because that's not... That's not good. That's bad. That's not a fun life to live. And maybe my chat's just as bad, maybe. But I don't think they are. I think I do a much better job at having a handle on my community. Admittedly, they're smaller, but still, at least I try to put an end to things like this because they're just not healthy. It's funny for a day, maybe two, but all it does is one, create a bunch of toxicity, two, make Keemstar grow bigger, which is never a good thing for the rest of society, uh, and three, just create more division on a small ass platform called Twitch.tv, which shouldn't have any division because it's so fucking small already. We got to tear down ourselves. Hey, Twitch is already doing the best job they can at making this website irrelevant. So let's not try our best to make this website irrelevant. We got to do the opposite of that. It's not making a whole lot of sense. Anyway, look, I'm not a drama farmer. I wish I was. I would farm it for days. More so just here to clear things up and make it chill. It is what it is. I think Aiden's just a little more, and I really don't mean this in a condescending or mean way, but um, like sensitive about these type of things. Maybe because he's like a newer streamer and feels like everybody else in the community is against him because he's in his own circle, you know, which is true. Even though we are much smaller bubbles, like me, Soda, Nick, whoever, collectively we're in a much larger group, if you think like maybe the LSF crowd, compared to Aiden's bubble. Although his bubble is very big 
one-to-one. -one. So maybe he feels like this entire group is coming against him. But I don't think that's the case. I really don't. I think they will rally up against Keemstar. If you have Keemstar on your side, that's not a great look for you, not gonna lie. But as far as the rest of it, don't think anyone's that mad. I'm all right though, if you wanna make fun of me. Talk about how I'm washed up after the subathon. That's a good one. Bring up how I lost more subs than anyone's ever had. <laughs> Isn't that a crazy stat? I've lost more subs in a month than anyone has ever had on this website. That's impressive. Hey, even if XQC beats my record for most subs, he will never beat my record for losing the most subs in one month. <laughs> Suck it, Felix. Suck it. Hopefully, Aiden will be good. I'm not gonna reach out to him anymore, because apparently when I do, he leaks DMs. Can't leak DMs, bro. That's day one. It was also leaking like the most cordial, sweet thing I could have said. Look at this fucking guy who is like, trying to smooth things over privately in this cordial manner. Pussy. God, he's such a fan of me. He won't stop DMing me that one time a couple months ago. Fuck him. What? What are we doing? So from this YouTube Andy to the rest of you fucks, uh, all I have to say in conclusion is that, um, Aiden, Ricegum, Keem, giant idiots, let's keep farming this drama for the rest of the week. Wait, they're saying they're calling. They're calling you. Answer your phone. Oh, oh shit. shit. He called you? Oh, oh, hold on, shit. <laughs> what up, G? Hey, Banks. How's it going? It's me, Ludwig. <laughs> Hi, Ludwig. You know whose fault this is? This is Keem's fault, bro. Keem drops a little bomb on Twitter and then fucks off for a day in his house by his lake and then makes a drama alert on Tuesday. And doesn't give a shit. We can, we can just blame it all on Keem's <laughs> <laughs> Let's just, let's just chalk it up to, let's just chalk it up to Keem's star. Let's, let's, let's leave it there. Hey, if you say poggers, I say W, then we make up, Aiden? I'm cool with that. All right, you, you first. No, I you do that. first. Okay, <laughs> no, you, no, you first. <laughs> I'll say it. Same time, same hey, time. no, I I have a higher all time sub count, so you gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go first. Uh, you have more viewers, but I mean, how about on three? On three, cross your fingers. Don't lie to me. Hey, Aiden's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. Banks, count us down. Three, two, one, go. No, just say it. Don't be annoying. W. I'm not saying it, Banks. Whoa, no, wait. What do you mean? I'm not, saying, I'm not saying, saying the mean? I'm not doing it. Uh-oh.